All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Matt. Well, cases of MRSA infections are on the rise across our country, spreading through locker rooms, daycares, and schools. Uh, bacteria is everywhere. It's even on our skin, and most exist without causing us any trouble. But as children prepare to start a new school year, we do have some tips to help prevent the so-called superbug that we've been hearing about for a little while now. Joining us now from Children's Hospital is Darcy Hodge, Director of Infection Control. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Let's remind people what MRSA is. MRSA stands for methicillin resistant staph aureus. Staph aureus is a bacteria mm -hmm. that grows in our nose lots of times and can be passed on through our nose or on our skin. So that's how it spread. That's how it starts. Uh, what are some of the signs and symptoms we parents need to look for? Most common with children it's going to be the the spider boil, the spider like bo boils that come up. It's redness, it's inflammation and they can be very painful. It may start out as a little pimple and then within a few hours or, or days it can become very large and painful. That's the most common what we see with children. Okay, and what are the complications of this? Well, complications certainly can be the pain, the swelling, and it can spread and can cause uh, blood infections if it's not treated appropriately. Mm -hmm. Occasionally children will get pneumonia from MRSA. If they have wounds, like a surgical wound or, or a sore on their body and it invades that area, then it can make that that sore or that wound infected and make it much worse. Certainly. All right. So, uh how is it treated? What's the best thing to do? When they, when children come in with the, the boils that we see, the best thing that physicians do is they open that up and they drain it. They may not always give them an antibiotic, but they will tell you to flush it, wash it very well, and to keep it clean. All right, we also have special ointments and soaps for things like that. The, those usually are used if a child has repeated MRSA infections, okay. and even sometimes the whole family will be treated trying to get rid of it, so it, it, it will not cause problems anymore. All right, and in that case, you need to ask questions at the school yeah. or wherever they are a lot, where kids are sweating and, and other things are happening. Yes, and this time of year when, when children are involved in sports, especially the contact sports, mm -hmm. they need to take a shower after those contact sports, yeah. so any skin or any abrasion don't get colonized with that MRSA and cause an infection. Yeah. Cle sports equipment should be clean. Don't share towels. Adults should not share razors. Good old hand washing helps also. Those good hygiene points. Stuff that mom has always That's told right. you. That's right. <laughs> hey, Darcy, That's right. thank you so much for being with us. Always yeah. a pleasure. Thank and you. if you have a question about your child's health, just email me at ltucker at wate.com. And be sure to tune in every Thursday here on 6 News at 530. You never know, we just might use your question on the air.